Um, in the case of today, we have a um, protection relay uh, for the, for transformer, which is a red five uh, to one. Uh, it has been replaced by another uh, type of relay, uh, which is a Rex six seven zero. Uh, according to this modification, uh, there will be a modification in uh, RTU configuration in order to uh, transmit the protection uh, signals from a substation to the LDC. We will see how uh, the modification, the modification that needs to be done on the two level, the level of RTU, and on the second level of the relay level. Okay. As I said, the change of today uh, we have protection relay, which is a red five two one. It's going to be changed by uh, other type of relay, which is a red uh, six seven zero. We, this relay is uh, transferring differential protection signal uh, LDC. So, but what we need to do is changing uh, its purpose address. Now we will open the configuration after your configuration. We will see the change that we need to do. Okay, kill X. RTU. So we see what the parameters that are needed to be changed. Here is the, we have a network tree. We go to the hardware tree. We have um, transformer red, transformer six. This is uh, the required. Uh, this is the required. I uh, that need to be changed. Uh, this suppose address. If we browse, we have LX transformer six red differential protection trip. We we'll look to the parameter. We will look to the parameter to the establish parameters as we said. Uh, channel number is uh, 22 data number is number one and uh, channel number uh, two. event number 33 uh, event number is set on which means when when this signal uh, appear or goes from zero to one this number uh, event number is 33 when this uh, signal goes from one to zero set number is off these are the parameters we need to do it uh, to fill it uh, in order to be able to transmit the signals uh, from uh, red uh, from red 670 to the RTU. The most important thing is from where we get these uh, addresses. From where we get these addresses, we will look to the manual and we will see how from where we can get these addresses. <coughs> Find the, the is purpose address parameters. This is the 670 series IEC spark communication protocol manual. We will open this manual and we will look how these uh, parameters are filled. Are filled. Uh, as we went through the, the, the manual, we come to this page. This is, as the event function is intended to send time tag event to the channel to the station level. For example, operator work progress over the station bus. The events are three, uh, they are presented in an event list. This event can be created from both internal logic signals and binary input channels. Which means that in order to send this signal, we need to connect it to the, an event block. Okay, as said, <coughs> Uh, this table will show you the addresses of event. If we look event one, which means the event block number one, each event block has 16 input. The status uh, 22 or 1, 22 or 2, 22 or 3. Uh, this for the event block number one, which means the channel is 22. A one uh, it represents the number uh, of input. One for input one, two for input two, three for input three, four for input four. But as general, this event block number one, 
the charging number which is uh, 22 then we will go to the set event set event when we set event when the signal goes from 0 to 1 this is will take the number 33 33 when the reset event when the signal goes from 1 to 0 we will take the number uh, 32 and for if we are going to use uh, if we are in need to use another uh, event to look which is going to be event number two here the channel number is going to be 23 the channel number is going to be 23 and the same uh, input output uh, if we are if we still need another uh, another event to look the channel number is going to be 24 which means Whenever we use an event log, we start from 22. If there are another need of we still need to use another event, we use the channel number 23. The third event event log, the channel number is 24, and we we compare them with the uh, same uh, parameters in event log number. This from where we can uh, see how we can fill the addresses. Any number two, data number one. Data number is the, the input one is data number one. Input two, data number two. Input sixteen is data number sixteen. As we said, channel number it is twenty two. Event number state on twenty uh, thirty three for the input number one. We look here for the input number one. Event number is 33 for the which is uh, from 0 to 1 of from 1 to 0 is uh, uh, 32 here we have 32 these are the required parameters in order to be filled to be able to transmit, transmit the signal from REC 670 to RTU uh, 560 using SPA we will see that there is an additional configuration needs to be done in the REC 670 using PCM 600. We need to define this block address and we will see there is additional setting. We will look at it. Okay, this uh, differential relay, which is the old one. Um, the transformer protection rate 521 this is the old one it has been replaced it has been replaced with uh, red 670 there are uh, some parameters need to be set uh, on this uh, uh, relay there are two ways to set the parameters uh, either using keypad or from the software. The first uh, way to set this one is using keypad. Uh, from menu, go to setting. General setting. Okay. Communication. Station communication. Oh, sorry. SLM configuration uh, rare, uh, rare optical long port we are, we are using ISPA bus for the cost so we will use the other port rare optical ISPA IEC DMB3 port ok first of all we will select the operation normally it comes uh, off but we will change it to ISPA according to the protocol that we are going to use uh, so we will select the protocol uh, after that, we will uh, uh, you set the address. The address was by default is come with a 30, but in the RTU configuration, the relay address is 176, so we change the address here to 176 in order to be uh, match the IP address or the slave address in the RTU configuration in order to be able to establish the communication between RTU and IED. Okay, this is uh, the required setting uh, to be done in uh, uh, to establish the communication between IED and RTU. 
there is a, a additional configuration in, in order to be able to transmit these uh, signals from uh, red to uh, RTU uh, and this uh, thing will be done using the configuration uh, okay uh, one of the things that uh, needs to be mentioned that the setting for R8, uh, RED670 it will be done using the software PCM600 uh, this is the setting uh, we will see how to uh, to add the event block and then how to connect the signal with this event block in order to be, to be able to send this signal to RTU uh, okay uh, right click on this uh, this project uh, this is a uh, uh, really that we need to make the modification in, in its configuration uh, right click we will open application configuration <coughs> okay we can navigate the configuration of this uh, relay but since, since we uh, know where this uh, <coughs> signal will be connected we will go there the required signal that we need to transfer it is a differential 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 rotation okay this is a this is a block uh, block differential uh, protection block uh, after protection engineer has done uh, has done their uh, configuration we will add uh, this uh, event block from object monitoring we will see uh, uh, drag and drop this configuration drag and drop will it will add this block after it has been added we will see for an instance I have already done this but in order to show you how to add signals we will uh, right click in the point oh, sorry for instance this input input number two right click connect to existing variables <coughs> okay we will see we see which signals that we are going to connect we will look to the this signals uh, as I, as I have mentioned we are one we, we need we need to transmit the differential protection signal differential protection trip we will look for the differential protection trip okay as we 33 d1 this is a protection protection trip we will uh, select this uh, signals and automatically will be connected to the uh, input that we have chosen uh, but because I have already selected uh, no need to select it once again after we have created this uh, uh, signals there's a little bit uh, there's a more uh, setting need to be done uh, right click parameter uh, setting we will uh, first of, uh, this block need to be uh, connecting using Spabasa Spabasa protocol so we will uh, here we have two options for the communication we will, the option one is using uh, SPA channel SPA channel or LON so we need the communication uh, to be done using Spabasa protocol so normally it comes off but if you double click we have to we will select the number of uh, channels that we are going to use them 
for communication using this purpose. You can choose from 1 to 9, from 1 to 8, or from 9 to 16, or from 1 to 16. Normally, we will choose all the blocks to be transmitted using this purpose, uh, uh, this purpose protocol. The other thing that needs to be, needs to be done is for each uh, single input, you have to make a change. Uh, how do you how do you uh, how do you want to be transmitted? There are many options. Uh, almost there are four. The first one is auto detect, and you have can change from no event on set or on reset or in change. I have chosen to be transmitted uh, on change whenever it is changed from zero to one or to one to zero. Needs a uh, uh, signal to be transmitted. So this is all. Uh,